Hi, my name is Vakas and I am from Innovative Expert. Today we are going to discuss about CCNA certification. So most of users were completed the certification from Cisco website, but when they are going to generate a PDF certificate, they are not going to generate they are not going to receive any verification email from Cisco site to verify his to get their certification. So today we are going to discuss about this kind of issue. If you are visiting our channel for first time, then please subscribe our channel and also click on a bell icon. So you can't miss our latest videos or any updates regarding our channel. So let's get started. Most of user requested us to uh, make a video on how they get Cisco certification. Even they have also registration ID or uh, any other Cisco ID. So before moving, uh, you need three things. The one thing is that his or her name. The second thing is that registration ID. And the third one is Cisco ID. So I pasted uh, this link in the description so you can directly copy and paste in a, a tag or anywhere you want So let's start So this is the link where you can get your Cisco certification So I also pasted in the description you can download or you can uh, copy this link from a description and paste in a URL So I'm going to paste this URL here Okay, now click on this link. So when you click on a link, you get a, a login page. So here you can enter your email address. So I'm going to enter my email address and a password. So uh, I can uh, click on a login button and then I continue this video. So now I'm going to pause this video. Okay, I have successfully logged in into my Cisco uh, account. So here you can see this is the first step of verification. When uh, when you enter your email address here and click on submit button, uh, the uh, notification email the notification message will be shown here. But uh, you can't receive any email from a Cisco site. So in that case, uh, you create a a case for a uh, tech in which you can mention uh, your issue so the tech will contact you in 12 to 14 hours uh, in business days so now I'm going to enter here my email that's me enter Sorry. Okay, I have entered my email addresses and now I'm going to uh, click on the submit button. So, as you can see, I have received a message and email has been sent to email addresses we have on file. Uh, okay, now when I'm going to check my email addresses, I didn't receive any email from Cisco side. So in that case, we are going to put a case ticket for uh, for this kind of issue. So now I'm going to open my case. And the case link is in available in the description, so you can directly click on the link and open a case ticket. Okay, now let me uh, copy that link from a description and paste here. So this is a link uh, where you can create a case. So the link is that crtsupport.cisco.com. Okay. Now when you are 
not log in that website then you can click on a login button and uh, if you don't did not have a cisco uh, account then you can create account first and then uh, login on that website so i'm going to uh, copy let me copy this website into another browser okay just a minute because we have this link in so here okay because i already uh, log into uh, cisco website so i didn't need any login or any authentication because here i just simply click on a login button and it automatically log in on that website okay now i have successfully log in as you can see uh, here is a tab showing in my case and uh, go down so when you click on a my cases uh, a new tab will be open so here you can see a button get my cases or uh, here you can see another uh, tab open a case so i am going to click on a, this one open a case and here you can mention your uh, issue title like uh, uh, i am mentioning my certification issue so okay now here you can uh, describe your uh, issue what issue you are going to facing so i am just simple copy this all text and paste here okay so here you can change the name with your name and uh, registration id and a cisco id okay the name is and here let me uh, check my registration id so i'm going to pause this video if you have, if you did not know your registration id then go to a pearson website and uh, find your registration id so i'm going to my pearson website pearson vue.com cisco There are a lot of websites where uh, you can get registration ID, but I have registered on Pearson, so that's why my registration ID will be here. So click on a sign in button, and here you can mention your username and a password, and then click on sign in. So you you are going to log, you will be logging in on that website. So here I'm going to pause the video and going to log in on that website. I have successfully logged in on that website, so. Just simply click on uh, that arrow button, and you can see your uh, Cisco ID. So just copy this ID from here, and uh, and if you want to uh, know your all details about exam, so here you can check your exam history or view your score. Just simply click on exam history, and click on a Cisco certification. So here you can see your registration ID. So just copy this registration ID from here and paste that ID in your case. Okay. Now just copy your Cisco ID from here. What's going on? I think it's maybe difficult to copy this from here. So I just simply click on that. Sorry. Okay. This I don't know why it's not going to copy from here. So I just read out manually. So one four. Okay. Wait. 
okay i'm going to copy from my notepad and a simple paste it here okay so here you can mention your uh, exam date uh, when you are going to submit your exam or if you you already uh, completed your exam then just mention that that so now just simple click on a submit button Uh, so I did apologize for that. I just uh, uh, didn't mention that uh, tab here. So manually select product, which is a certification online support tool. So you can select this one, and uh, title will be certification certification issue. Sorry for spelling. Certification issue, and then description. Uh, you can just directly paste the description here and then click on the submit button so as you can see your case uh, has been submitted successfully uh, after submitting this case uh, uh, you will receive a confirmation email from a support team uh, as you can see they already mentioned our support team will contact you within one to two uh, business days so when uh, we receive the email from support side then i will continue this video for you so just get get in touch with me uh, i'll continue this video as soon as possible hi guys uh, welcome back so uh, we receive an email from uh, cisco uh, let me show that email address or uh, that message which i get from cisco uh, as you can see uh, i have received this email uh, from Cisco site in which they mention uh, my Cisco username and uh, uh, and uh, steps uh, which uh, which I'm going to uh, just follow this step and uh, going to uh, extract my certificate from Cisco website. So uh, first of all, uh, the step is that uh, which is uh, I'm going to help this uh, URL www.cisco.com and then uh, i'm going to log in the website and then click on certification and exit from okay uh, now let me log in that website and just simply click on that link and uh, i think it will have a wi-fi connectivity so let me check in again Okay, uh, now when the page is loaded successfully, then I'm going to uh, log in that website which is cisco.com. Uh, so just simply click on a login button. I don't know why it's taking too much time. So we just wait for uh, I think my connection is not stable, so that's why it's taking too much time. Uh, let me change my uh, connectivity and then uh, uh, I show more steps. Okay, now it's perfect. Okay, let me log in. So now I'm going to enter a password.
okay uh, successfully going to log in so when you have to log in on a cisco.com website then uh, go to learn as you can see there is a tab which is done just click on here now go to certification and exams after that uh, you can see our tab which is track my certification just simply click on here and when you click on uh, this link so uh, a new uh, website which is certmetrics.com slash cisco slash uh, has been opened and uh, just simply click on ok and first of all you need to update your uh, profile setting uh, so just uh, update your profile and then uh, you go into redirect it and a new website uh, which is the privacy and policy just accept that website and uh, you will be directed to a, a certification portal so just simply click on uh, setting okay uh, here cisco is some uh, uh, survey which is uh, certification so as you can see, uh, they are asking, are you a Cisco employee? Just simple. If you are a Cisco employee, just, uh, just mention here yes or no. And then no. Email verification, yes. Here you can choose yes. And then if you have Netiquette ID, then you can choose yes. Otherwise, it no. Because we didn't have a Netiquette ID, we just directly connected with the Pearson account. So that's why no need of it okay uh, now here you can choose yes and just simply you can update with your form okay as you can see uh, a message will be appear setting successfully changed so now just simply click on a, a tab which name is certification just simply click on certification and as you can see here you have ccna certification and uh, from logo you can download your badge and from pdf certificate you can download your pdf certificate okay just simply click on a PDF certificate, and as you can see, my certification has been downloaded. Just simply click on that, and as you can see, this is your uh, Cisco certification. So that's the matter where you can get your certification from Cisco. Uh, thanks for watching. If you face any issue, uh, then please comment on a uh, comment section, and then I can reply your queries and. Uh, Okay, thank you so much for watching. Just subscribe my channel and click on the bell icon. Um, so keep me connected. Okay, thank you so much. Thank you for the time. Take care. Bye bye.